place. All right, so uh, we're simply savoring something here. We uh, uh, came back from Thailand and we kind of took a break here and we are going to be cooking. If you saw the, the Thai cooking uh, show, uh, we are going to be cooking three of her recipes. So we just got back from the Asian market with about $70 worth of stuff and um, simple and savory is about doing more of what you love and enjoying, enjoying the simple things. So we're going to be cooking for Tanya's parents tonight and we went down to the market and got some more plants. Um, some deer kind of got some of my stuff so we're going to be planting some more plants this weekend and uh, we'll show you some of the cooking stuff <laughs> as we figured out. I'm going to be making my own curry sauce which is going to be really cool. <laughs> right, we made it home. And we got a stash, so I'm gonna run you through what we've got. We are um, doing our first um, full-time meal at home, and uh, Tanya's parents are gonna join us, and uh, should be interesting. So I'll give you the rundown. Let's see, where do we start here? I'm kinda like a kid in a candy store with this stuff. All right, so let me run you through kind of where we're at. Did a little organization, so let me give you the, the spin first. I'll have sauces and there's my new toy so we uh, made uh, um, curry sauce in Thailand so I need to get a mortar and pestle so it's a really cool one it's got a, a shallow pit on one side and then a flat head and a rounded head on the I'm not sure if that's the is this the mortar or the pestle if you know that um, let me know and then uh, just a bigger pit on this side so should be fun to do some pounding for about 10 minutes um, so first we're going to make the curry and so it has peppers and galangal which is a Thai ginger uh, kaffir lime leaf cilantro roots I've never seen a place have cilantro or coriander root uh, we were at the farmers market and Tanya said well, there's there's cilantro and it has the roots still on it so that was pretty cool and um, then we've got some sauces. We found a gluten-free uh, tamari or soy sauce and then a sweet chili sauce for the egg rolls and oyster sauce, uh, shrimp sauce or shrimp paste, some ball, that's just normal stuff. And I think Tanya's making some mojitos. We found mint, so I thought we'd do an afternoon mojito. And then in the, so this is the curry paste. Um, and then, let's see, we'll have peppers, coconut milk. Uh, these are an Asian a Thai eggplant that we found down there. Apple eggplant. And then this is a Thai uh, chives, uh, Thai basil, uh, cilantro and or, uh, shallots and onion also go into the, the uh, curry paste that we're making. And then the creme de la creme mango and sticky rice mmm yum what else we got oh we're doing um, spring rolls so we've got some spring rolls uh, for tomorrow we're going to a, a afternoon brunch over at a friend's house so we're making pod thai Tanya had a rockin pod thai recipe and then we found we really liked the bubble tea in Thailand so we've got Thai tea and we'll make uh, tapioca then we found some funky stuff. I thought we'd just try some different stuff. The flavor profiles over there are bizarre, weird for my taste, but they're really good. And let's see, palm sugar is a big Thai thing. And I think that's it. So um, we'll get the, the uh, curry paste started and come back with the uh, mortar and pestle. Okay, so Tanya broke into the... <laughs> she got She got caught. Broke into the... Green tea flavored glutinous rice. So sticky rice with a, something green tea flavored. Well, remember at Rate of E that you had that green tea dessert yeah, with this. But look at it. It's kind of, it's like, um, really funny almost. It's like glutinous rice. What's it taste like? It's like a, an angry ball or whatever, you know, like. Oh, a uh, <laughs> stress ball? <laughs> or de stress ball? It's good. It tastes like. Green tea with sugar in it. Okay. And there's something in the middle. 
don't know what it is. It's not green though. It's like the picture. What's the? Oh yeah. It's like a picky something maybe. No, I don't know what. Huh. No, it's goo. It's goo. It's gooed. Or just it's goo. It's like a. It's like a raw potato is what the texture is like. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so we're for dinner we're making spring rolls and then Thai curry with jasmine rice and then dessert is the sticky rice and mango and we may have a, a couple of these. I'll have to try one of these too. And well, okay, you got us. Our house is a bit disheveled so the studio is pretty much filled with crap. Um, we do dog rescue. seen Tino before uh, and heard him tapping around so uh, some of our rescues and I think our dogs are the ones but they peed on the carpet and we've had it cleaned and it just still stunk so we have taken that out and we're filling the studio and the back porch and everything with stuff out of the yard or out of the yard the uh, the living room thanks Tanya this is the living room and this is usually really nice and clean we took the carpet out because the stink we pulled up the, the wood uh, flooring and we're gonna have the hallway this and the living room carpeted Tanya thought of a really good thing here's the tack strip so she kept carpet on there I would be stepping on nails all the next three to four weeks that we're gonna wait for the carpet to come so here's the remnants of there and carpet pad looks like it's raining outside we bought some plants for the backyard it's gonna go over by the pond and uh, we're gonna have a fire pit sometime soon. Curry paste and Tanya is assembling all the ingredients into the mortar. And then I am roasting the seeds. So we've got, we have cumin, and coriander and black pepper in here. Just lightly roast and I've got that pan smoking hot. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And she said, just so you could start smelling the aromatics just keep it moving I'm not burning and then that's going to go in the mortar as well and we'll start pestling Tino is intent on Tanya he always hangs around when I'm cutting at the cutting board because I've got stuff flying all over the place he does not want this these are the Thai chili peppers and I'm I'm a hot food person and Tony's like should we put this many in without deseeding the instructions don't say to deseed or seed or it's like yeah just put them in and so I said well I'll just try a little slice and whew, my eyes are burning. her eyes are burning my mouth is burning back of my head is sweating I can tell it's hot when the back of my head sweats okay so we've got all the seeds and lime zest in the pet mortar and then we have uh, shallots, lemongrass, um, coriander root, or the roots of a cilantro plant, the Thai, where's my finger? Thai chili peppers, garlic, and then shrimp paste. So this gets really loud, so I'm gonna go out on the front porch on a concrete slab and pound some curry paste. I'll meet you out there. All right, we're on the back patio. I headed to the front porch where the plants were sitting the other day, but it's raining outside. So we are on the back patio sitting on the ground. And we have our seeds in here, We've got lime zest. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I should add, let me, let me work on the seeds first and then I'll come back to the softer stuff. So this is, ain't gonna take a while. <laughs> I won't make you watch this whole thing. We'll come in at the end when a little action's going on. Um, what, um, see how long this takes. So we'll tighten this a little bit. Boy, I got a little tired. Tanya's taking over now. And Tino's just loving that smell of that shrimp paste. His mouth is just going add that at the end and we're probably about seven minutes in do you think so I'm thinking the way it's looking 
just keep pounding it down and breaking all the fibers up and all the garlic and lemongrass and turns into a really good paste. <laughs> gonna absorb some water. So we got the pesto done, we're back inside. Tanya is now, this bubble tea stuff really was pretty wild. Tea was really good, but the, the texture of the tapioca pearls are pretty wild. So 10 cups of water to one cup of tapioca, that stuff is gonna absorb some water. Okay, I think we've got things set up. Tanya's making some tapioca over there. She's got her tea made. This is like overwhelming. You know me. Simple five ingredients and we're done. We've got like 75 ingredients just sitting around. <sighs> overwhelmed, overwhelmed, help me. Um, so starting on spring rolls. And so there's the wrappers. I'm shredding the, the uh, cabbage up using a mandolin to get it really and then we'll be sauteing the ingredients for that and then wrapping the spring rolls. So let's join, join me in my very interesting wrapping, I'm sure. So we'll see how pretty they look. Probably not as nice as um, they were when she was directing us. All right, here's Tanya's first round of bubble tea. I screwed up. The big ones. Cold ingredients over ice, I think. Is that the lesson? <laughs> I made some is that, errors. Is that what we learned? She was really excited about it. It's all good stuff going in there, but... Well, plus the fact that we we're supposed to use sweetened condensed milk, but we forgot that we turned our sweetened condensed milk into um, dolce de leche by boiling it, so it's caramel. It was like years ago, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know. We never used it. I don't know if... It's I... really good. Yeah, so it's caramel rather than sweetened condensed milk. Mm. We can put that over ice cream. <laughs> That's good. No. Mm. Salt. All right, starting the guts for the stir or the uh, spring rolls. So we're sauteing a little garlic real quick, and then adding the carrots. Really, I am going insane. Look at this kitchen. Uh, help. I don't know where this wok came from. I threw my woks away a long time ago, so. Putting this in here. And some bean sprouts. And then we'll be adding the glass noodles. And then some sauce to add a little flavor to it and then let those cool. And then we'll be on to wrapping. Yikes! Oh, Tino's lucky. You got a baby corn off the floor. Mama's cutting baby corns over here. And so, we've got everything else kind of portioning up. The kitchen is cleaning up. I thought I was gonna have a, a fetal position uh, experience there for a bit. And then over here, we are starting to cook the uh, sticky rice. This is the technique that May used. And she steams it, and uh, other trade secrets that I can't divulge, but uh, should be really good. So then we're going to be cooking the curry, uh, green, green curry chicken, and uh, lots of yumminess coming up. Is rocking the sticky rice. Made a batch of coconut. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Savory, sweet. And then you put it over the ooey gooey sticky rice, slice up a mango, sauce it a little more, little sesame seeds on it. It's uh, gonna be yummy. Right, we are on to the spring rolls here. So we're gonna videotape a couple, see how they roll up and check back in when it's time to fry. Tony is making some beautiful egg rolls here. Look at those. Nice light brown. Gorgeous. Got jasmine rice going for the curry that we're going to be making after we eat this. And yumminess ensues. Okay, plated. Tanya's doing another. Use a sharp knife. 
can't believe I have dull knives. So these should be tasty. Hopefully the, the wrap was tight enough that they're not greasy inside, but we'll report back. Tanya's working her magic. Look at that, it's gorgeous. All right, so we're on coconut green curry chicken. Uh, it's above one away, just cooking the chicken, and then we're gonna add coconut milk and veggies, and then we'll serve it over some perfectly cooked jasmine rice. They're not serve it over, but serve it with. They uh, don't mix things until it's time to take a bite full. It's pretty cool. Oh my God, this is a mango with uh, sticky rice. So it's sticky rice with uh, like a sweet, savory coconut juice and then just straight mangoes with that drizzled over the top of both with black and white sesame seeds. It is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Uh, very successful baseline as far as our Thai cooking. Um, I think we, execution, we uh, three whole new recipes with a lot of ingredients. So for me, good outcome. Um, like May says, the recipes you need to taste it. So that's, you know, kind of how I usually cook. I'm just, if I'm following ingredients and measuring things, I think they're going to be some way and then you got to go with the flow. So the beauty of cooking, it's, you know, what do you want the taste to be? So you add what you like and very good, but look at this clean kitchen. I love it. Had a good time tonight and uh, we will do this again.